welcome back to In Charge Life with an Electric Vehicle for our next EV adventure. I'm your host, Raven. Throughout this series, we'll be busting myths and learning about the benefits of electric transportation as I road trip across the Tennessee Valley. In our last episode, we spent the day with BMX rider Corey Martinez and went a bit off the beaten path as we explored some trails in Chattanooga in the all new electric SUV from Volkswagen, the ID4. It's been exciting to be a part of this show because there's so many people that are getting to experience EVs for the first time. And I remember the first time I was in an electric vehicle, it really blew me away. I mean, it's basically going from a horse-drawn carriage to a gas car. You know, that transition is kind of how I view gas cars to EVs. And once you get in one, it's very difficult to want to get back into a gas car. In today's episode, we're in this Tesla Model Y. And this EV features some really cool things like software updates and semi-autonomous capabilities. I'm heading to meet mommy blogger Sarah Jade and some special guests to tour the US Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama to learn all about the power of batteries. Let's go meet Sarah. Navigate to Huntsville, Alabama. I want the big one to come back. Oh, here, look, look, here he comes. There's the big one. Hey, Sarah. Oh, hey, Raven. Hi, how are you? Hey, thanks for joining us. Nice to see it. you. I got you a coffee. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hi, guys. Yeah, Hi. this is Jackson. He's 11, and Mason, he's nine. Hello. So excited to be here in Huntsville with you guys, and I've got a cool surprise for you. We're going to be in a Tesla Model Y today. Well, let's go ahead the road. Yeah. We're going to be in this one right over here. Oh, wow, look, boys. Oh. You guys ready to hit the road? Yeah. So, guys, what do you all know about EVs? They look like they're like super cool and like they yeah. look. I actually like, really I've wanted one for a yeah, while. Yeah, I really want one. They talk about them all the time. So Sarah, tell me what it's like being a mommy blogger, a mother, a wife. All the titles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you do on social media? Okay, so I have a blog, which I love. Um, I write articles, travel destinations, and even destinations like around here, not too far from Huntsville. Yeah, which means you probably ask a lot out of your car. Definitely. Yeah. Safety being the first. Okay, so yeah. safety's like a huge thing. Oh, yeah. definitely. When I've got my family with me, I have to have something that's like safety number one. Electric vehicles are actually some of the safest cars on the market. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> you know, it's really because where the battery is placed, it's the length of the car and it's really heavy. And then Tesla recently redesigned their airbags and they're now the safest airbags on the market. Do you ask anything else out of your car? Well, we definitely need lots of space because with me, my husband, the boys, you know. A lot of people. I have lots of bags for my clothes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then they have their electronics and you know, when we travel, we need all that stuff. So this car actually has a frunk, which is a front trunk. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's because there's no engine. And so you can have all that storage space and then you've also got the back trunk and then there's like a little space underneath it. Sounds like my kind of car. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, hey, since we're here in Huntsville, I thought we should go check out the US Space and Rocket Center and meet an actual rocket scientist from NASA. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. sounds cool. Okay, yeah, let's go do it. Yeah. Super excited about going in today. Y'all ready? Yeah. Let's have some fun. Hey John, how are you? Hi Raven, nice to meet you. Welcome. Nice to meet you. This is Mason, Sarah, and Jackson. Hi, nice to meet you. We're so excited to be here. This is such a cool space and there's so much history to learn about. Absolutely. Every time I come here, it's a pretty humbling experience, especially where we're standing right now, which is underneath the Saturn V, biggest launch vehicle ever made. Wow, and you obviously know a lot because you're a rocket scientist at NASA. Yeah, that's right. You know, so I started my career doing advanced propulsion, things like ion engines and, and new launch vehicles, really trying to move forward after the Saturn V uh, capability. Uh, but currently, I'm the chief technologist at NASA Marshall Space Flight Center. That's cool. super cool. And yeah. I've heard you guys have some battery-powered vehicles. So when we had to create our first vehicle for the moon, uh, we decided to go with an all-electric vehicle as well. Uh, we could take a look at it over here. Yeah, oh, let's yeah, check cool. that out, guys. Yeah. So this is the Lunar Rover, so one of the first electrical vehicles ever made. Wow. So why did we decide to use batteries instead of like gasoline or something else? So, you know, we had to come up with a power solution and batteries are reliable and safe. So how do you think of the idea of the Lunar Rover? So we wanted to explore. And the best way to explore and really get far away is to have a roving vehicle, which will allow us to get kilometers away and then really see the new terrain and understand what's around us and get that extra science knowledge. That's so cool. And what's the range on this vehicle? Uh, so the range on the Lunar Rover was just under 60 miles total, and it had a maximum speed of around 10 miles per hour. That's so cool. So there's really so much more to see here at the museum, so why don't we go take a look? Yeah, let's do it. This is only one-tenth of a scale, 
Um, just this orange section over here, the front piece, you know, that's a 30-story building. Wow. Well, thanks so much for your time today, John. I know you have to get back to work helping people get to space and beyond. We're going to keep exploring Huntsville and the Space Center. Oh, it was my pleasure. Thanks so much, and great meeting all of you. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Oh boys, this has been such a fun day. Y'all wanna go explore a little bit more? Yeah. All right, go ahead. We're gonna sit down for a little bit. I am just amazed at the innovations that have taken place. Um, after talking with John and hearing about the lunar rover that only could go 60 miles on a single charge, and here we are with hundreds of miles now. I'm just truly amazed. Yeah, it's eliminating that anxiety around range. Yeah, I've always been a little skeptical. Like, when anyone mentions electric vehicles, I'm like, oh my goodness. I, I thought, you know, you had to drive all over to find a charging station, and now I see they're popping up everywhere. And that's really important to me as a mom, because we are super busy, as you can see today. The boys are everywhere. We like to do fun stuff, so I'm really excited about it. Yeah, speaking of everywhere, where do they go? Let's go find them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we've learned a lot about battery-powered everything. Now we're going to have a challenge around battery-powered cars. They're fully charged. What you're going to do is you're going to go straight all the way down, go around the middle cone, and then back. And mom's going to get to do the honors. Yay! OK. Are you guys ready? Do you know the challenge? Yep. All right. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh, oh. They're very close. Go runner. Runner. OK, green's around the cone. Green's in, green's in. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. I'm curious, what was the favorite thing that you learned? Um, the Teslas run off of battery power and no fuel or gasoline. Yeah, what about you? The thing I learned was about the lunar rover and how it operates on the moon. Uh -huh. Thanks so much for having us. We had an amazing time. Yeah, and for those of you at home, to learn more about electric vehicles, even if they just stay on Earth, visit energyright.com slash EV. See you next time. Let's go, guys.